Welcome to Classical Kids Storytime. I'm Scott, and this is our version of the Bremen Town Musicians. Once upon a time, there was an old donkey. How old? Old enough that he was having a hard time doing his job at the farm pulling the wagon. This made the farmer angry. He yelled at the old donkey, stopped feeding him his dinner of oats, and finally blocked the door to the stable where the donkey slept. The donkey decided, you know what? I may not be able to pull a wagon, but I've still got a great voice. Yee-haw. I'm gonna go to the big city and become a singer. Yee-haw. Yee-haw. And off he set. On his way, he saw an old hound dog sitting in the shade of a tree alongside the road. Hello, friend hound, said the donkey. Hello, friend donkey. Come share my shade and rest for a while. As they got to talking, The donkey learned that the hound was also being mistreated by his owner. I'm too old to hunt, said the hound. So the man brought in replacements, puppies, six of them. I feel like I've earned a peaceful retirement and a place to sleep beside the fire. But those puppies sleep by the fire at night. And I'm out under the porch in the cold And their yipping and yapping and brawling keeps me awake all day too. His last word became a mournful howl. The donkey had an idea. You have a good strong voice like me. Come to the city and we'll be musicians together. So they set off side by side, a duet. A few miles further along the road, they saw a bedraggled old cat covered in mud. Hello, friend cat. What a mess you are. She yowled elegantly inside. Yes, I'm getting so old and slow, the mice and rats have actually started chasing me. It's the third time this week they've chased me into the pond. It's so humiliating. What's going to happen to me now? I'll tell you what's going to happen, said the donkey. You're coming to the city to sing with us. And so the trio continued. A bit further on, they came upon a rooster, cockadoodle doing at the top of his lungs in the middle of the road. Cockadoodle doo! Friend rooster, said the donkey, what a splendid wake up voice you have. But aren't you supposed to do that at sunrise? You do know it's late in the afternoon. The rooster hung his little head and said, That's what I was afraid of. I'm so old I keep falling asleep at the wrong times, and then I wake in a panic thinking I've missed the sunrise. So I just let loose. cock a doodle do. The boss has had it and has been making horrible jokes about chicken and dumplings and feather pillows. I'm afraid my days are numbered. Donkey, hound, and cat looked at each other and nodded. Come with us, friend. As the sun went down, it started to rain hard. The wind turned each raindrop into a little thorn, poking our friends in their eyes and hides and fur and feather. We need to find shelter for the night. There, ahead in the woods, I see a light, said the cat, who did have the best eyes, golden yellow and still clear and strong. 
the light was coming out of the window of a small cabin. The rooster went ahead and peered inside. I see four men and a beautiful supper spread on the table. A big fire to sleep in front of. I wonder if these fellows would share their lodging with us for the night. I know, said the donkey. We'll sing for them. We'll entertain them in exchange for a night under this roof and get some practice for our music careers in the city. The donkey put his front hooves up on the window ledge. The dog jumped up on his back. The cat scrambled up on top of the dog and the rooster flapped his way to the top of the buddy tower. Cock-a-doodle-doo. But instead of responding with applause and an invitation to join them for dinner, the men screamed in terror and ran out of the house as fast as they could. Huh, obviously not music lovers, the cat shrugged. The four friends sat and enjoyed a big meal. Then, they noticed several scary looking knives, stacks of gold coins, a chest full of fine silver. They realized they had scared robbers out of their hideout, which felt like a pretty good day's work. So they put out the light and went to sleep. The donkey outside to sleep on the porch, the dog behind the door, the cat in front of the fireplace, and the rooster up in the rafters. Meanwhile, outside, the robber captain saw the house go quiet and dark, so he sent one of his men to go check it out. It was completely dark in the house except for two glowing coals. The robber thought he'd light a match on those coals so he could get a good look around, except they weren't coals. They were the bright yellow eyes of friend Cat, who was not happy about having a match stuck in them. She flew up, claws out, and scratching and spitting, sent the robber running back toward the door, where the dog bit him square in the leg. Out in the yard, the donkey gave the robber a last kick, and the rooster woke up in a panic with a cock a doodle doo. The robber, scratched, bloody, and bruised, told the captain, A witch with long claws tried to scratch my eyes out, and an old man behind the door stabbed me in the leg with a knife. Some huge guy on the porch hit me with a club, and I heard a judge yelling, Off to jail with you. The robbers didn't dare return to the house. And the Bremontown musicians live there happily ever after. The End Thanks for listening to Classical Kids Storytime from APM, American Public Media.